So I have some unfortunate news. This is just one of those videos that I don't need to be in. No, no, no tears. So this is especially for the people who have pre-ordered their new tier of Shadow, who will be receiving them very soon. And I've had the special privilege of being able to jump into each of those iterations to do some essential testing. So what this video is, is the results of three tests which I ran in identical conditions on Boost, Ultra and Infinite. So what were the tests you're asking? I will premise this by saying this is not like a benchmarking specialist channel. Uh, I don't have the years of benchmarking experience behind me, uh, but these are the three best ones that I could come up with. Uh, stuff that I've done before, a little bit of research that I've done uh, to give us the best kind of results and an idea for what's coming up. So the first test we ran was to test the CPU on each of the tiers uh, using a piece of software called Cinebench, which a lot of you are probably familiar with. But at the end of that, it gives us a score from Cinebench and also allows us to compare that score to other systems of uh, similar specifications. Uh, for that one, I won't make you watch the actual test itself because it's literally loading up a table and chairs block by block, which is only slightly more interesting than my regular content. Then for each tier, we ran 3D Mark, which tests the 3D graphic rendering and the CPU workload processing capabilities. And I did not get that. Uh, description from Google. Again, for each of the tiers, 3D Mark will spit out a score. Uh, and you can then take that score and compare it to other systems online. So I'll leave all the links in the description down below for you to do that. And then an old favorite of mine, uh, one of the more reliable in-game benchmarking tests I've ever used uh, has been in Rainbow Six Siege. So for each of the tiers, we jumped into Rainbow Six Siege, bumped the graphics all the way up to Ultra before running the benchmarking test. And the results of that, I find a lot more kind of uh, real world relatable because they'll give you a minimum, maximum and average FPS of the benchmark in each tier instead of a benchmarking score like the other two tests give us. Uh, but that's it. That's all you need to know from me. Those are the free tests. I'll stop talking now. Uh, so here are the results. And uh, as always, I'd be interested to know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm sure there will be a lively but friendly discussion down there. Enjoy.